So I just got sent more leaked Starfield gameplay screenshots and they actually came from Bethesda employee, apparently. Let's take a look at how legit this really is. And make sure you stay up to date with the latest Starfield leaks and Bethesda game news by subscribing and also hitting the bell notification icon. I've literally been covering Bethesda games for like nine years now. So another YouTuber called The Just Dom Show sent me even more leaked Starfield gameplay screenshots. Screenshots nobody else has access to beyond what we discussed in yesterday's video. From what Dom described, these images are being shared around on Discord from the original leaker who found Rafael Vargas's art station page and found a work folder with all of the art pieces and test screenshots of Starfield. They actually took all the images but told Rafael that hey you should take these down and now his whole account has been deleted. You can't actually access his account anymore. There is another guy with the same name but it's not the guy who works at Bethesda. Rafael Vargas actually is the senior world builder and specializes in creating architecture and cities for Bethesda Game Studios. He's been working at Bethesda since 2002. So he was working on Oblivion, Fallout 3, Skyrim, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. He specifically interacts with the level designers and making architecture be an actual part of the gameplay. And that's said in his own words. So he most likely played a pivotal role in bringing settlement building to Fallout 4. As a fellow architect dude, I appreciate that. Now I already said yesterday that the fact that some of these images were posted over at Bethesda's official Discord server and immediately removed, and I mean the screenshots just look like a Bethesda game, and also the modular construction of the spaceship here really does look reminiscent of the settlement building system in Fallout 4. Now a quick reverse image search on Google will tell you that none of these images exist anywhere else on the immediate internet. Obviously they're being shared secretly over Discord, but as far as we can see, none of these images are readily available anymore on the internet, which obviously suggests this story is indeed true. So firstly we have the spacesuit. This seemingly is a different faction color scheme to the one we saw in the original screenshot. The backpack is also different as well, a much smaller design. The spacesuit appears to be segmented in places with the gauntlets, very heavily armored legs with like armor plating on them, and then the helmet and the faction based torso as well. Now I'm sure in true Bethesda fashion, we'll have various armor sets with standard legs, helmets, backpacks and armor slots. Or in this case, we may be looking at one individual outfit. We also have this image, which appears to be a faction logo with some star constellations above a planet. Who knows what this actually represents though? We already saw another logo patch in the spacesuit from the other screenshot already, which showed a different logo from a red themed faction. One of these could actually be representing the Constellation Faction or Constellation Project that we can see if you pay very careful attention to the Starfield launch trailer. In the corner there's kind of like a reflection there where part of the word Constellation is visible. The first graphic definitely seems to match that theory. Then we also have some world building components or for use in the Starfield equivalent of settlement building. This appears to be some kind of stretch material over a steel or aluminium frame. They definitely look very space-like for sure. And if these were indeed found on the World Builders art station page, I can only imagine, since he's been working at Bethesda since 2002, that these are actually supposed to be for Starfield. Then we finally have some in-game textures as well, just a simple pattern that may be from a wall. Now this assortment of imagery really does look like it's from Bethesda games and since it can't really be found anywhere else on the internet aside from this guy who's going around discord explaining that he pulled them off the lead world builders art station it really does make you wonder is this actually Starfield? I think it is. That obviously it tells us very little about the game. If you guys are still very much interested in this story, make sure you watch yesterday's video as well where we go over exactly what this HUD means and represents. And we also discuss whether Starfield is going to be completely exclusive 
to Xbox and PC and that it might be releasing early on Xbox too. I've timestamped everything in that video just so you can easily find it. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did find it helpful and interesting. And I'll see you in the next Starfield update. Have a great day and goodbye.